In the museum, we have a three level photo archive dedicated to the Jewish citizens of Aishasha, which is a town in Lithuania. Um, and it was, it's not like photos of them experiencing like victimization of the Holocaust. It's them like swimming and family portraits. And there's a photo of a, a woman who's getting proposed to by a guy in a Mickey Mouse costume. Um, and at that time, there weren't a lot of cameras around. Uh, so often, if one person in a town had a camera, they'd be responsible for taking photos of everyone's family or just everything that was going on around the town. Um, and those photos were donated to the museum by a woman named Yaffa, now Eliok, formerly Soninson. Um, and she, it was her grandfather's camera that the photos were taken by. Um, and in 1941, the Jewish population of the village was killed by the Einsatzgruppen um, during the high holidays. So that's another sort of element of it, that they were killed not only were they killed, they were killed on their most holy days. They were rounded up right before Rosh Hashanah, um, and the killings began on Rosh Hashanah. And Yaffa's family escaped because her father kind of had this premonition, this sense that when the Germans were like, oh, you should, you should be able to celebrate your, your holy days, you guys should be able to stick around. He kind of didn't trust that the Germans actually wanted them to be able to celebrate. Um, and he saw it as a sort of plot to get the Jews all together to round them up. So he had his daughter sent away. Um, and they all actually survived, or her whole family survived that particular incident. But her grandparents were killed. And later her mom and her little brother were killed in a sort of separate incident. But I like to talk about that photo because Six million is a pretty big number, and that's the number of Jewish victims uh, of the Holocaust, people who were killed, not just like victims overall. Those are the number of Jewish people who were killed in the Holocaust. And that's a really hard number for people to sort of internalize and understand. People are, it's just a, like a big block that people can't really, through no fault of their own, look past that and see the human lives that were lost, and that those six million people had wives and children and went to school, went to work, um, celebrated things, like maybe we're sad, we're happy. And seeing all these photos of just, you know, not very many people enjoying themselves and living their lives and then thinking about how that was just one town. But then there's so many other towns who went through in a similar situation. It gives a better understanding of like the human lives behind the number of deaths, which I think is something that is important for the museum to sort of attempt to do to sort of remind people of the human toll rather than just the historical elements of it. So I always like to talk about her. And she, you know, came to the US eventually. I think she first went to Israel um, and her father uh, became a farmer in Israel. And she donated this photo archive to the museum and they decided to really integrate it into the museum, which I think was a really good choice. So that's why I chose to talk about it.